you are watching DTV. DTV is in Pretoria to meet a young entrepreneur who owns a fish farm. This system works as follows. After the fish have been quarantined, they are placed into these tanks. The fish are sorted by size. The water system works as follows. The water from the fish tanks is sent through a filter to clean it. The plants are used as a filter as well. The plants absorb the toxins from the water, leaving it clean. The water is then sent back to the fish tanks. It's a recycling system. Hi and welcome to DTV. Thank you. What sparked your interest in fish that led to your business? After I watched the movie Dolphin Tail, my, inter my interest in, mar in marine fish um, just grew and grew and grew. And then I wanted to become a fish farmer and so and I told my father and he said, you will help me if I'm qualified. And then I attended the course in Grahamstown and then I was qualified and my father had to help me to build the whole facility and infrastructure. At age 12, you were in business. Please share setbacks you came across. In the beginning, it was just to build the whole, whole infrastructure and it cost a lot. So we had to build it in stages, so the first stage and second stage. And then also the um, problem of um, electricity and water um, occurred. So we're busy um, um, implementing a solar panel system so that we can get off the grid with the electricity and the water that I'm re recycling basically um, so I don't have a problem with the water and the electricity anymore. Yeah. How many fish did you start with and how many do you have now? I started with tilapia and I had about a thousand and then my business grew and grew. I have about um, 30,000 fish in my whole system currently, um, which is the lapia, the oricaris for some pickers, um, catfish and also grass carp. Suppliers bring the fish here. The fish get quarantined before putting them into the main tanks. The bigger fish are fed um, three to five times per day. It depends on the seasonal and what is the water temperature. And the smaller fish are fed seven times a day because the water temperature is controlled in that area. And the cost um, is about 3,000 to 3,800 Rand per month and depends on the season and so. This is the hatchery. It's where all the baby fish are. The female fish lay unfertilized eggs. Then, after the male fertilized them, the female keeps the eggs in her mouth for five days until they hatch. and the baby fish are fed and continue growing. This is um, the second leg of my business, the aquaponic system. This is where all the vegetables grow and this is my main source of income currently. Hi, 
Welcome to DTV. Thank you very much. What role do you play in your daughter's two businesses? We are not really involved in the two businesses on a daily basis anymore. Rikalis does all the daily things herself um, with a team, um, but we still get involved over weekends due to uh, school activities and load of uh, schoolwork. Um, so she will come and ask, Park, can you help a little bit here, can you help a little bit there? Um, and then uh, I still get involved in the technical things. Um, if something electronic is not working or if we still have to do some erection of the plant or pipes or something, but that's all that we are really involved in at the moment. The rest is done by herself. How many people do you employ? I have currently two workers that's working full time. I learn everything every day to her and she's a good person and she teach me a lot of things. And I'm appreciated and I like to be working with her because I get everything to him. I, I, I manage to take care about my family to her and I'm, I'm happy to be working with her. why they are different sized fish tanks. Oh, we have the nursery and the hatchery. That is where the fish get hatched and then they get their own size food. And then they will be size sorted into the bigger system. Then they will stay for the next 13 months till they are harvestable. They also get the same si the bigger sizes food for their sizes. Um, and then they will be harvestable ready for the market. This is where the fish are sent before being sold. The temperature is lowered in order for the fish to die. Then they are cleaned, packaged and sold. vegetables can you produce annually and who do you supply? I mainly supply to restaurants, chefs, schools, hotels, supermarkets and last year I produced 2.44 tonnes of vegetables. How do you balance your schoolwork, sustain two businesses and still have a social life? I'm in the hostel, so during the week I'm not here, so that at school I just focus on schoolwork and social life and so. She's a very, very, very busy child. Um, she is, she's an A-plus student in school, academically, so she, she do spend a lot of time on her academics. She's in the symphony orchestra, she's playing uh, violin. She is in the cross-country team, she does rowing. And then over the weekends I'm a farmer, then I cut off school and everything and just focus on the farm. It's a passion and she's actually just living a passion. Your future dreams. I want to go study ichthyology and specialise in marine biology. And in my business, I want to produce a ton of a ton fish per month, and then also open my own organic shop to sell all, all the vegetables. Yay, cucumber! Great! Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.